Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Spring Porter with Spring Solutions LLC. In today's video, it's going to be a little bit different. First of all, I wanted to apologize for being away so long. I have been busy working on my online course. It's taken me some time to get everything put together and to type up contracts and to make things look neat and put everything in order from start to finish. I'm still working on that, so bear with me. Um, I wanted to come on and do a quick video because I stumbled on additional leads on the, one of the court websites. So if you're interested in learning about a different way or different place to look for leads, please stay tuned. Please note that I am not an attorney. This is not indicated as legal advice. This is strictly for researching purposes only if you're a funds locator. So I am on this site, uscourts.gov. I've mentioned this site before on my channel. And on it houses all the websites for each court. So on the right, we have bankruptcy. I think I stumbled on this site. I think I was thinking that I was on the bankruptcy California Northern District, but I was actually on the regular U.S. District Court for Northern California. So I clicked on this, and I think I was just probably chatting with my son or something, trying to do this, and I typed unclaimed funds, and I think I just looked down and I pulled this up and then I started reading and I was like oh this is district but they're unclaimed funds so I stumbled on it that way and to make a long story short there is a funds ledger for the US District Court Northern District of California I'm not sure if these are in every state I haven't really gotten that far I can check a few while I'm on this video just to see but if you don't see a ledger you can always call the clerk's office and see if they have one so right here it says review our court's unclaimed funds ledger and this looks like it's only specific for this district in this state so it's not going to have that it's not like the funds locator where it has a long list so essentially it looks similar to some of the ledgers that i've seen um, the case numbers on the left there's the case title so in this instance it's not um it's not you know bankruptcy case so it doesn't say creditor creditor or debtor but it does have a balance and it has the date that it was transferred so essentially you are going to have to take this case number similar to how you do the bankruptcy cases and plug it into pacer again pacer houses all federal court cases so district court cases are also going to be in pacer so you would have to do the same thing that you would do in the other cases do your research uh, you would have to plug this in, find out who is getting the funds. Is it the plaintiff? Is it the defendant? So you're not dealing with creditor debtor here. Here you're dealing with plaintiff defendant, and the plaintiff is always the first one listed on the case title. So in this case in particular, it's the United Behavior Health uh, Company. They sued Amy Jensen, and this is the award. These could be for damages or something in that case. Uh, one of these parties was awarded this amount of money. So you would have to find out who it was. You would need to go to the court case, the docket, and find out. Okay. And so some of these are like smaller amounts, but some of them are larger. Um, there's some here. There's one here that's 25000 So this is not a long list, but again, this is only one district. And if this is here, I'm wondering if other states have it as well. So I just stumbled on that inadvertently looking for bankruptcy stuff. And again, if you go back, you'll see the application is here too. So I'm believing that this, I have never worked uh, district court unclaimed funds, so I wouldn't be able to tell you, but I'm just showing you where the information is. Again, as I always state, do your own research. Um, this is what the application looks like. Um... It reads similar to sort of the other ones that we've done in bankruptcy. You have to put them out. I think you have to pick which kind of uh, applicant you are. In bankruptcy, they talk about claimants. Here, it's an applicant. So you would have to go through and read and figure out which one you are. And here, it does say funds located. So you can do this. Again, it's showing you power of attorney. So we've seen these types of you know languages in the other previous videos that I've done. There's a signature block. Uh, this looks like there's this is an affidavit. And then there's a certificate of service for mailing, and it tells you who to go to. And here it also goes to the U.S. 
attorney's office for the District of California. It has that address. So, and it looks like this is the order because this is the judge's signature down here. So essentially, there's your template for this district. And this is for California. So that is good news if you're, again, looking for, I'm always trying to show people where claims are. Um, and here's another one. Now, yes, this is a small list, as I've mentioned, but you can still work it. And it tells you the procedures. So there you go. Now I'm going to go back to the main court list and see, let's look at the Southern District of California and see if they have a similar list and see and they don't. But that doesn't mean that they, they really don't. You may be able to just call the clerk and find out. And that maybe I will do that just to see if I can get a list. If I do get a list, I will uh, do another video and, and show you what happened from that phone conversation. Uh, this is Colorado. Let me see if I can find a search engine or anything that says unclaim funds. But they don't seem to have a separate funds ledger for just district cases. They only have them for bankruptcy cases. That's what it appears to be. So maybe that's something that they could work on potentially. But in the meantime, call the clerk. And here is the clerk's number. Case opening questions. There's an intake. Um, I guess any of these will do. Any of those numbers will probably point you in the right direction. Let's try one more state. This is going to be a very short video. I just wanted to come on and show you this. It's got Connecticut. Unclaimed funds. See, yeah, they don't show anything here. So maybe a lot of states, maybe they don't have a lot of um, district court cases where there are funds that are left over. Let's try New York. My business is there. Let's try that and see what that looks like. No, it doesn't show. So yeah, just because you don't see it there doesn't mean it's not there. As I've showed you, this is not always public knowledge, even though it should be. So do some more digging, and I'll do the same and see what if I can find anything else, I'll let you know. But for now, it looks like that one district in California has a few. So that's good news. Hopefully there'll be more that have a list coming up shortly. Uh, I also wanted to remind you the best way to reach me is by my email, springsolutionsllc at gmail.com. Um, I wanted to thank those who have donated to my Cash App, who have donated money uh, via PayPal to me to help grow this channel. That's Donations are always uh, appreciated. Um, I still have uh, room and slots for coaching calls. They're now $85 for 30 or 40 minutes, actually, for 40 minutes. And if you want me to review a case for you, again, that's a flat fee of $200. If you want me to review the case from beginning to the end, I will help you do that. Um, so again, thank you for watching. Please stay tuned to my channel. I will have more updates as I get further along in making the course. I'm about halfway there, and I will keep you posted on that. So I will see you in the next video, and thank you for watching.